everyone. Welcome to How Inez Rolls. You know how that sometimes you, that you just have to deal with? That's my Yazzy. He's not feeling well and I was supposed to work today. So we just postponed it. But today will be an extra cleaning day and I'll show you what we're having for dinner. But pretty much... <laughs> As he's not feeling well, huh? Mm -hmm. You want to tell everybody how you're feeling? Not good. Not good. He's been sick for about a week now. Yeah, so, and I'm just going to try to make him some things that I hope that he'll eat and drink. We've done everything. We even went to the doctor. So he just has to let this kind of um, run through, run its course. But we're just going to try to help him to feel comfortable, so... I'm going to feel comfortable. You're going to feel comfortable? Uh-huh. All right. So let's get started. And maybe I'll even show you what downstairs looks like. I've had um, a couple people ask what my house looks like, like maybe a house tour. And um, although I can't have a house that's always um, tidy to do it at all at once, but maybe if I do downstairs one time and then upstairs another time, I might be able to do that. So we'll see what... What we bring you today on yeah, How I Nez Rolls. Do it like the Phillips. Do it like the Phillips? What'd they do? They did like a one video. A one video? Sounds like a lot of cleaning. So, he just wants some drink. Here's your drink. And he's going to play little games. But that's okay because it'll make him feel better. And then look at this lived-in home. So this is what I'm going to work in. Today. So I had a couple of preschool classes. My first one was supposed to be today and we were going to start making some little Father's Day presents. So I had pre-glued uh, um, the frames. So I wanted to um, be able to put uh, a picture of the kids, but it's gonna be so cute because it's gonna be like, uh, I have rock and roll stuff, like just, it'll be really, really cute. And they're going to decorate them with these multicolor rock so it'll be like a daddy rock kind of thing so if you need an idea there you go right dad's rock so that'll be on there with their picture on it and i have this cute little guitar that they can hold and pose with but for now i need to clear this area so i can get ready with our dinner i'm gonna make a crock pot meal Mrs. Meyers uh, scouring the scrub, the non-scratching scrub. So good. And the thing that I like about this is that it doesn't hurt my hands. I used to always use Comet, and now I really like this. So, here we go. Okay, so this, the island is nice and clean, the appliances, and I even uh, cleaned my table as well. So I'm probably gonna put a tablecloth on that. Um, it's seeing its last days now, and I'm kind of sad about it because it's a nice color, but um, we need to figure out the situation because that table is actually quite large for this area and there's not like a ton of walking space. Hello, dirty floors that are gonna get cleaned. So <laughs> I have seen a table that I think I'm gonna get at Ikea. I was just telling Paul about it. That's a little more narrow. So this area, now I need to just kind of lightly wipe that down and I just like to use Mrs. Meyer's cleaning product. My burners aren't too bad, so I'm just gonna give them a light wipe. And that part is done, boom. So it's so much better now. It took like half an hour and I'm just gonna like spot mop the floor. I have like a Swiffer. Well, it's not really a Swiffer. I'm not a fan of Swiffers. I think they leave your floors a little sticky. So I can show you, it's just like a, I'll show you the mop I use. So there's Ezzy drinking some more juice. I always water it down. So he is 
getting a lot of fluids right now. But let me show you more of our house. So that's our front door. And then this is my preschool. So yeah, I have a tent in here because we're doing um, camping as a theme for this week. I am only working a couple of weeks this summer. So one week is camping and then another week we'll probably do something with colors. So you can see it walks right back into our room, the kitchen and living room, which is where we are all of the time. And with in the future, I would love to knock out this wall to create a large living area, but I would have to be done doing preschool. So this is, means it's closed for the, closed for the summer. <laughs> and then so right behind me are, there's a bathroom right there. And then right where there's a bullseye, <laughs> that is my mother-in-law's master room. We purchased this house all together with her sister. And so we have three master rooms in this house. And our square footage is 3,288 feet. This is my teaching closet. So it's nice and packed and full. And I know I was, I think I was showing you guys, I finished this project. I'm now just putting everything back together again. So um, I'm loving it. I think it's gonna go in one of the boys' rooms. So that's our downstairs and in the laundry room, which I want to paint this summer. So we'll see if I can get it all done, but that's the downstairs mini tour. <laughs> so here is the mop that I use when I'm doing spot. You can put any solution you want in there. So I like to put a little bit of Pine Sol or Lysol, like a little bit maybe with a tiny bit of like Mrs. Meyer soap and some water and this bottom part here pops off and I could throw it in the, the laundry. So it makes it very easy. Well, let's go put your clothes on, okay? okay. Ezra put on some, some clothes, his new Be Kind shirt. Ooh. And uh, how you feeling now? Good. A little bit better? Okay, so I just want you to rest. You can watch cartoons or play some games and then maybe we can do some reading in a little while. Yay! Since Ezra's watching cartoons on my bed, I just thought I would get started and um, with dinner. It'll be an easy crock pot and I've made it before, so I'll just walk you through it really quick. So I got my crock pot ready and all I'm gonna do is put in like four, maybe five chicken breasts, nothing huge. If they're bigger, then I'd probably put like two or three. All I'm gonna do is one can of cream of chicken soup. So I'm just gonna put that in there, cook it on high, and then in a few hours, I'll be able to shred it. Now, after in about a few hours when I'm ready to shred, I will have cooked a box of rice. Now, I like using the yellow rice from Zatarans. Now, and I'm not one who buys a lots of processed rice or noodles or anything like that, but, I thought we could try the chicken this time because honestly, that's all they had at the store when I bought it. So, and I do like that it's lower sodium. So that's okay with me. So after that, we'll put the cooked product, I'm following the directions as is, into the pan here with some corn and cheese and boom, easy peasy, so good. The kids love it. Well, aside from Ezra, which he gets a pass since he's not feeling well, but Maybe I'll make him a quesadilla or something. So let me get this finished and going and let's see what else I do. Oh, I probably will go finish up on my, my um, cabinet, put the last door on and then um, just figure out what I need to put, what, where to put it. Anyways, then I'll go nuzzle with Ezzy. Look at what he's doing. He is got a little bit of appetite back, which I'm super happy about. So we just finished up having some lunch and he is all on board for what? What are we gonna go do now? Get a Slurpee. Get a Slurpee. So I'm glad he's starting to feel a little bit better, enough to eat a little bit more, it feels like. And it's been a week. It's been a week. He told me yesterday, he's like, I'm tired of being sick. I get it. It's just nice to get out and walk around for a few minutes and uh, get a little 
treat, get a little DDP. I share mine. So now it's just going, time to go back. Do you want to read a book when we get back, Ezzy? I'll read to you, okay? And then you can read to me. So the chicken in the crock pot has been going for about a few hours. I just took it out, chopped it, rough chopped it, threw it back in there, kind of took out the icky, not the ickies, but the fattening parts that chicken has. And so I, or the ligaments or anything like that that were on the chicken breast. And I am now grating cheese behind me there. I am, I'm putting together the rice aroni. I'm just following the package directions and pretty much that is it. So when that is all done, I'm just going to merge it into here with some cheese, add the corn, boom, dinner's done. Like I said, I, as soon as this rice was done, I'm gonna mix everything in. So I've already put my cheese in here, my corn, and normally I use, like I said, the Zatarans with this recipe, but this one's just gonna be fine. I can already smell it. So just give it a nice little stir, and it's done. It's so good. I'll bring you a little closer and it's gonna as you can see it's a little soupy but that's okay because it's got some more time to cook and it'll be ready for dinner delicious now i have a little boy about ready for a story i think square it was a perfect square it had four matching corners and four equal sides and it was perfectly happy. So you got to see us do a lot of things today just for Ezzy. And honestly, it's really hot here. So it's about 105. So yes, it's very hot here, but you know what? He's just barely starting to get over something that's lasted about a week. Ack. And so today, actually, we haven't even given him any medicine. How are you feeling, Ez? Good. Better? Yeah, well, good night sleeps and lots of liquids, right, and rest helps. And he also got a little bit of an appetite today. So I think he's out of the, in the clear. I think he's starting to make a make amends. So I'm super glad. Like when I drank the Slurpee, I was coughing and my heart was hurting. I know. The Slurpee in, in, in theory was a good idea, but I think it was too cold for your throat. Oh, and it, it made you cough. Day. I know. But we're so glad that you were able to stop by our channel. Sometimes I don't do recipes. Sometimes I just share. And sometimes my little guy needs me. So we thought we would just make a video today about our day and what's been going on. But I hope you liked a little mini tour and uh, the recipe of the crock pot. Let me know in the comments what your favorite recipes are for crock pots. My brother is sick too. Yeah, we do have some illness, so we hope that everybody out there is nice and healthy and enjoying their summers or their winters, depending on where you're living. But we hope that you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful evening, and um, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you soon. So thanks for stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up for Ezra, and uh, see you next time. we'll see you next time. So stick around. You just never know what. And that's what we're rolling out next. Bye, everybody.